Okay, so today's video is a really fun video. I am so excited about this video. It is my five go-to crock pot meals that I absolutely love. My family loves them. There's a really good variety. And so I'm going to be sharing those with you in this video. This is also a collaboration with one of my all-time favorite YouTubers. Her name is Jennifer and her channel's name is A Country Life. And she is awesome. She's kind of been one of my first friends here on YouTube and her channel is phenomenal. It is so good. She is a homeschooling mama. She has seven children. They own a cranberry farm and she vlogs all the time and she has so many amazing tips and tricks. She does a lot of haul videos, like what they buy. She's awesome. So you definitely have to check her out. And if you're new here, my name is Heather and I am a mother of four small children. My oldest is seven and my youngest is two and they're a lot of fun. I absolutely love them. Love being a mom, a wife, a homemaker. So um, if you're new here, definitely subscribe and like this uh, video if you like this and let me get started. So I'm gonna start with my Mediterranean chicken, which is so flavorful, so good. It's one of my favorites, so let's get started. Okay, so you'll wanna add one full lemon into a bowl. I feel like anything with lemon in it, any meal has to be good, right? <laughs> and then you'll add about a fourth a cup of olive oil, and then these zesty Italian packets are what make this meal. They're so good, there's a lot of flavor in there and it's super easy, just dump it right in. And then about two cloves of garlic. And then after that, you'll add about two tablespoons of capers and you'll just stir that around, super duper easy. Okay, for this recipe, I have three chicken breasts and that works out perfect for my family because we'll just shred it up at the end and put it over rice. And then I will put it on high for about four hours. And now every crock pot is a little different, so that works great for us, for this crock pot is four hours. Yours might be a little different, give or take maybe a half hour, um, but that is what we do for ours. Then you'll chop up one onion, and then you'll chop up a red bell pepper, yellow and orange bell pepper, and it will taste amazing when I'm done, I promise you. Okay, so it's been four and a half hours and I am excited. It smells so good. The whole house smells like this. And like I said, this is one of my favorites. So I'm going to open it and then it should just pull apart. So you just wanna shred the chicken. Okay, so the reason I shred the chicken, you don't necessarily have to do that but I like to have it soak in the sauces because then it just has so much more flavor. Plus, if you have a bigger family like us, I just use three chicken breasts and they're kind of small, but this way, if you shred up the chicken, it kind of can go farther. And so that's kind of a hack that I learned from my sister. So, um, so I usually shred all the chicken. Nobody gets a full chicken breast in our family except my husband probably. But, um, and then you can put the sauces over, if you wanted white rice, it would taste so good, all those sauces, um, over white rice. And then I have a side salad and I just use like a Mediterranean salad. And so just to put more veggies in my kids. And then on top I sprinkle feta cheese. It is so, so good. This is one of my favorite, all-time favorite meals. Hey guys, okay, so today's crock pot meal is barbacoa and it is so good. If you go to Chipotle and you have their uh, barbacoa, it, I would say it's even better than Chipotle's barbacoa. It is so, so good. So, and it's pretty easy. You just throw everything into the crock pot. My family is obsessed with it. Even Bella, who's hard to get to eat sometimes, loved it, like we're all fighting for it. So this time I am making more than I did last time. Got a bigger chunk cut of meat and um, so that we can have some for leftovers. So anyway, so I'm gonna show you really easily how to do it. 
four cloves of garlic, two chipotle in, a, in the sauce, you'll need one can of green chilies, you'll need one small onion, a fourth a cup of fresh lime juice, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, three bay leaves, one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of oregano, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and a half a cup of beef stock. And just so you know, all of these recipes, I will for sure put in the description box below, just so that you can have them if you need them. They're all so good. I hope that you will definitely check them out. Okay, then you'll put three bay leaves on top. You'll add one onion, chopped onion, and then all the sauces go over the top. And you cook it for four hours on high, and it turns out like this. You just shred it up, and it is amazing. Okay, so here's the barbacoa, and we have cilantro lime rice, and street corn right over there, super good. Okay, so day three, I'm gonna have white chili and it's with chicken in it. It is really, really good actually. It's one of my favorite kinds of chili. It's perfect for the, like fall weather, winter weather. You just throw it in the crock pot and it tastes amazing. So let me show you really quick how to make white chili. Okay, for the spices, I have one teaspoon of ground cumin. I have one teaspoon of dried oregano. And I just do a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, but you can put up to three-fourths a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Otherwise, it gets a little too much for the kids. And then I have one of these cans that I just plop right in there. And this is mild as well. Then I just have one onion all chopped up. And then two cans of beans. And I don't do the, the beans right away. I just rinse them off and then I kind of set them aside till about a half hour before I serve it. And then I'll also have garlic right here. Um, so I'll put a teaspoon of garlic in there. So I took the chicken out of the crock pot and shredded that up and then I'm going to add it to, back to the crock pot. I made some rice. So what I do is I put rice in a bowl and then I put this whole mixture, just kind of put it all over. Then I'll put sour cream and cheese on it. It's so good. Okay, and here it is. You can see all the chunks of chicken. I put cheese on top, sour cream, and down below is all of the rice. And so I just put all the sauces down there. It is so good when it's all mixed up. Okay, so my next slow cooker meal is slow cooker jambalaya, which is really good, but it can be a little too spicy for the kids. So the Cajun spice that I use, I just kind of add half of that instead of the whole thing. When they're a little older, I'll probably add the whole amount, but let me show you what's in it. It's super easy and it's really, really tasty. So when I'm done with it, I just put it over a bed of white rice and it is so good. The family loves it. So let me show you what's in it. Okay, so I have diced tomatoes. This is a 28 ounce diced tomato. I have my spices, which is half a teaspoon of dried thyme, two teaspoons of oregano, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. And what I use for that is this Creole seasoning. And I just put half a tablespoon because it can get really spicy for the little kids. I put a tablespoon of salt and that is it. So, and then here I have my sausage links. I just do one pound of that, two celery sticks, one full onion, one green pepper, and then two chicken breasts all cut up. And then over here I just... I have some chicken stock, just two cups of chicken stock. I'll add everything right to the crock pot for four hours and then it's ready to go. Okay, 
Okay, so my last recipe that I'm gonna share with you is curry chicken, and my family loves this meal. It's one of my other go-to meals because everybody, including my husband, loves this meal. I usually have it with non bread and some rice and stuff, so it's super easy, let me get into it. see there's big chunks of chicken so you just kind of shred that up it should kind of fall apart like that shred it up and then you put it right over your rice here's the curry chicken just make sure you add a tablespoon of sugar about a half hour before you serve it it's super good it gives it just the perfect amount of sweetness and then there's naan bread and broccoli is what I serve it with and it's on a bed of rice I don't know if you can see that okay so those are the five crock pot meals I hope that you enjoyed and definitely go check out Jennifer her channel a uh, country life awesome and I will put her uh, channel link down below so anyway I hope you enjoyed until next time God bless bye